today I'm reviewing the Purito AHA BHA Refreshing Solution. And really quick, I just want to say, I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time sponsor ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, join Patreon community, or click on the link below. Okay, so this is the Refreshing Solution. I don't, why do all names have to be so long? This one's not even that long. Compared to some other things like the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I mean, why does it have to be so long all the time? It's got to be long, I guess. Maybe it's just memorable. Maybe it's clicking on more tallies to get searched. I don't know, but whatever. Okay, so simply they call us a re regular exfoliation with this refreshing solution. Strengthens the skin, providing with a healthy radiance. So we got simple explanation with a long name, so... Okay, in terms of my first right here, which is packaging, clear bottle, recommend storing it in the cabinet when not using it just so the light doesn't zap some of the good stuff and render it useless. Um, in terms of denatured or drying types of alcohol, there's none of those in here. It's also fragrance free, which is wonderful. Uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, manufacturing location is Korea, so let me do a quick pH test. Typically AHAs and BHAs. Uh, can do best at an optimal pH, which is between three and four, especially AHAs, uh, like glycolic acid. They're very dependent on pH for proper exfoliation. So let me do a quick pH test of this one. Hang on one second. Okay. So for the pH, it looks pretty darn close to three. I would say just a notch above three. So that's right where you want it to be. So no issues at all with that. Oops, I dropped that on the floor. You know what? I dropped one of those pH strips on my countertop a couple days ago. And it like stained the countertop. I still have to get a new countertop for 50,000 subscribers. Maybe we can just do a whole thing, a new thing. So, you know what the problem is? I have to clean out all the cabinets. And the thought of doing that is just terrifying. It is terrifying because they're so, I can't even shut half the drawers. It's just, don't shame me. I am a skincare junkie. Don't shame me. Okay, so ease of use. So they recommend to apply with a cotton pad onto freshly cleansed skin. I recommend you can do it with a cotton pad or you can pat it onto skin. I really like patting them onto skin because you get more of the good stuff, it absorbs. I just feel like you're not wasting it with a cotton pad. Um, then they recommend do not rinse. They recommend using it three to five times a week. Um, and I'd recommend doing a patch test. I, we gotta get in the habit of all of us. And I know myself, I am prone not to do a patch test, but I'm trying to get better at it because you just don't know. Certain ingredients can cause allergic reactions. Things can be too strong for your skin. So getting in the habit of doing a patch test is the best thing, especially with actives and retinoids, things like that. So um, so when I pat on a skin, literally like a dime size covers my whole face. So this bottle will last me quite some time. And then after I pat it on, I give it about one to two minutes to dry and absorb and then apply my next layer on. If I apply my next layer on too soon, it's not as effective. So let it dry before you apply your next product over it. So very easy to use. Okay, in terms of uh, antioxidants and beneficial ingredients, so we start out with salix alba bark water, which is a skin soothing ingredient, plant extract that contains salicin, which is a substance that's actually, if you take it orally, it's converted into salicylic acid when you take it orally. Um, the process of converting salicin and willow bark into salicylic acid requires the presence of enzymes, and it's a very complex process. Uh, it's very much like salicylic acid and is uh, only stable under acidic conditions. So a lot of people don't necessarily want to believe to the thought that BHAs, uh, their pH can be everywhere. But I found for me especially, salicylic acid, BHAs really are only effective for me between 3 and 4. Anything higher than that, they don't do much for blackheads, breakouts, things like that. But if they are in that optimal range, they are the magic ingredient for a lot of uh, breakouts and things like that. Um, so, okay. So then we've got 7% glycolic acid. Most research, alpha hydroxy acid exfoliant helps shed dead skin cells. Also, research has shown that it helps boost collagen production, can fade brown spots and sun damage and also PHI, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. The best practice pH range is between three and four. 
Then we've got 2% salicylic acid, BHA exfoliant, great for blackheads and acne-prone skin types. Can exfoliate skin on the surface and actually in, can exfoliate inside pores. It's also a great anti-inflammatory agent. So a lot of people don't combine the two and realize that BHAs are great for exfoliating. They can also be very calming. And that makes them even better for acne-prone skin types. Um, okay. Then we've got arginine, amino acid, skin identical ingredient. We've got uh, hydroxyacetophonine, which is a preservative antioxidant combo ingredient. Personally, it's probably more of a preservative than an antioxidant, but that's how they sell it as a combo, but it's controversial. So uh, then we've got lanolin, skin soothing ingredient, licorice root, skin soothing, hydrating, and brightening. So a nice list of good exfoliants, uh, certainly a nice mixture really appreciate this because i like using bha products but i miss the ha's because they have collagen produce producing properties that bha's don't have so if you can use both of them it's even better for your skin because you get both you get the anti-acne stuff and you get the collagen producing stuff so makes it wonderful okay in terms of uh animal testing this is cruelty free as well as vegan performance does a really nice job uh, it's not crazy harsh. A lot of exfoliants can be kind of harsh. This one contains two, but it's still kind of gentle and it's not drying at all for the skin. Great for people, in my opinion, with combo skin, combination skin, acne prone skin, or some sensitive skin types. Not all sensitive skin handles both AHAs and BHAs well. Some sensitive skin works better with PHAs, which are very gentle, so... Um, but this one, pretty good. And in terms of acne jack ingredients, they're none of note. So it makes it even more friendly. Um, price, so it even gets better. So this is a full size, which is 100 milliliters, uh, 3.5 ounces, and retails for about $25. Although if you search around Joel C. Yes style, sometimes it's 20 bucks or 15 bucks. So, uh, and especially if you pat this on, this bottle will last you several months. So it makes it even more affordable that way. Um, then in terms of the it factor, really nice option for exfoliants, especially uh, if you're somebody that already uses a BHA. This one gives you a little bit of a kick with the collagen producing AHAs and a little bit of extra help with pigmentation issues and things like that. So fragrance free, affordable, really good product. Really happy with this one. Cannot wait to try their oat cream, which is supposed to arrive any minute. I told the cameraman I have a VIP coming today, a very important package. It's like most days, but today I'm really excited to get my hands on it. So anyway, those are my thoughts on this. I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check this out or if you have any thoughts on Purio in general. I know a lot of you have a lot of thoughts because there are new sunscreens coming out soon. So leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.